Dog air sits. No, collapses into the deep velvet sofa. Raquel shifts and settles further in her corner. With a great exhalation he sighs. That is delicate work, moving all that equipment. He points to a pile at the head of the great room. Raquel pretends to read, trying to sulk past the photographer and opium enthusiast's entreaties. Madam, have I told you how you remind me of the Taipanessa of Lipitsoner, the way in which you dance among the stallions? Sir, are you comparing me to a dressage mare? Non, non, the spins and twirls, it was as if you were floating. Your waltz with Alberto was magnific. He turns his wrist in the air. Raquel again pretends to read. For a moment they sit in silence until broken by dog air sighing loudly. Ma Cher, why are you sad? If you truly wanted to be left alone, you would have stayed in that lavish boudoir. You are far too conspicuous to hide in this great room. Raquel tucks the book away to her side. And how, might I ask, do you know my boudoir's appointment? Eyebrow raised. Amuse. Daguerre says as he attempts to get into a comfortable position on the sofa. L.E. Bluey is the source of many amuse. A perfect permanent recreation of beauty, unencumbered by the ability or style of the artist. Your rooms have the best light for photography. Um. Her eyebrow lowers. Have you been to the roof? Raquel shakes her head. You have not yet seen the most magical part of Olympia. He leans in. I can show you. With a crash and great excitement. What is this? This will not do. Hubert, I will have all this put into the furnace if you do not remove it to the studio. Janice yells, kicking the leg of the tripod. My cue. Pardon me my Taipanessa. He stands with great effort, turns and sticks the tip of his tongue out at Raquel. Both laugh. Later I will take you. Twilight. As the two make their way past the final stairwell. With each step, as they ascend higher, the heat causes sweat to rise on their brow and trickle down their backs. This better be quite the view. Raquel jokes as the column of stairs seems never-ending. Oh, I forgot to ask. You are not afraid of heights. Dog air turns, hand on the door handle. I am afraid of falling. It is not the falling you need to worry about. It is the sudden stop at the end. Dog air leans hard against a door that has been previously painted shut. The layer of white paint, flaked at the edges gives way framing him in dust. Stepping forth onto the roof the air is fresh and the breeze is both gentle and cool compared to the stuffiness of the stairwell. The canopy of sky's high clouds shifts from cerulean to streaked with gold and amber, blushed rose and oncoming twilight. Rolled black tar creates a geometric tapestry where it waterproofs the seams between the joints and structures. What is most noticeable is how quiet it is compared to the boulevard and streets below. The roof is made up of a mezzanine that runs a third back from the streets at the crest of the zinc metal rooftops. The remaining roof looks like a cornfield stripped, the stacks and chimneys like left behind stalks. A large greenhouse and bird coops dot the roof. 
the roof line gives way for inner courtyards and views to the streets below. Ma Shir, come see. He waves her over. Marking the edge of the view the Grand Hotel gives way to a geometry of upper floor residential and hotel windows. Looking east the blue patina of the dome of the Grand Palais and its roof statuary are lit golden in the low sun. Looking south the place Vendôme column is visible, as are the gardens, the Grand Palais and Seine. The silver hue of arc lights mark the boulevards. When the world is nipping at your heels this is a place of peace. One day I will take a photo that does this view justice. While he speaks of the view and the buildings that can be seen Raquel allows Hubert Daguerre to fade from her ears as she smiles, deeply happy she spins and pirouettes. Careful ma chère, you dance along the edge. She pauses. Then kisses Daguerre on his cheek and twirls. Moments pass in silence as the photographer completes his cigarette rolling ritual. They stand together gazing upon the last light of the afternoon. Thank you, it is as if taking a trip to a beautiful new place without leaving the city. Returning to the stairwell door they stop once more. Throughout the block the facets of glass domes, lit in amber from within, mark the magnificent atriums below. The roof and canopy of stars give a magical feel to the space unseen by most.